Hi friends, welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. My name is Monica, <clears throat> lost my voice for a second there. Today, I am gonna go ahead and take care of my entryway for Halloween. I'm so excited. I've got some really fun pieces, like this one, that I'm gonna change up a little bit, have something a little different this year. So I think, let's just get into it. Okay, so if you've been with me for any length of time, you know that the holidays, I love to go big. Now, even the small holidays, I do up, I just don't do up as big as these more fall, winter holidays and everything. But, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you everything I have for this space. It's just my entry right here, my entry which is including this new tree. So, and everything I had except my granddaughter picked out one witch and then I needed some things because I haven't done a Halloween treat before. So, those are the only things that I added to my collection this year. And so I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I've got. Okay, so this is what we're working with. I love this big stacked pumpkin. I a lot of times do use it outside, but this year I'm gonna use it in here with the with, not Christmas tree, Halloween tree. But, um, okay, so I've got some fun. The theme in here is just, we're not gonna go scary, scary. We just do a little fun scary. So we've got, this is the new witch we got this year. Um, just, you know, fun, uh, kind of just whimsical is gonna be what's up here. A lot of yellow, orange, black. So, and then some fun little ghosts I'm, I'm gonna hang. So, this is our black tree. This is, actually it is a Christmas tree. I mean, we, we use it at Christmas time. And it is black, and it usually is out on our back patio. So I, th I thought this year, let's do something fun and, and decorate a Halloween tree. And we already had the black tree. How about that? Okay, so let's get into this. When I start a project like this, I always try to go ahead and tackle the thing that I feel like is going to take the most time or the thing that I'm the most unsure of, you know, like exactly what I'm gonna do. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tree since I've really never done a Christmas. I always wanna say Christmas. It is a Christmas tree, but a Halloween tree. So I went ahead and started with that. I went ahead and added the lights that I wanted to add to it, um, the orange and then the multicolor. Um, and then I added the bulbs and just kind of filled in that way. And then the few amount of picks that I could find this year, um, I went ahead and just, you know, kind of placed that in there, then used smaller bulbs to kind of just fill in, you know, and make it as full as possible. Uh, and then I went ahead and pulled that big uh, stacked pumpkin just to kind of balance it out. And I think, I think if I would have put it on the other side of the tree, it would have been too much, um, towards the entry right there into the family room. So that's kind of how I tackled that area. for the entry table I just went ahead and laid out what I had left or what I had designated for this space um, and I just went ahead and decorated it um, put down you know I always just for grounding I always like to put kind of like a table runner or some kind of fabric or something just to ground you know the the piece of furniture that you're decorating or just to ground the decorations so I went ahead and put the black table runners down and then um, I had some kind of orangey um, sparkly so I went ahead and put that for some depth and, and everything and then just added the decor that I had.
Another tip I have for this kind of tree or any kind of holiday tree, um, I've done it for Christmas as well, um, is just using a flat sheet um, as, a, as a base under the thing. I had some black sheets of my daughter's, so I just went ahead and laid that around and just kind of, you know, use that instead of a tree, you know, skirt type of thing, which we don't have black uh, for Halloween. So I just went ahead and put a sheet around, but I've done that for Christmas too. tip I have is something that's very inexpensive is this kind of like cobweb it comes in a bag uh, it's very inexpensive but you can just dress up and make a, a simple decor piece you know just take it off to another level and just have it be you know spooky and and it just accelerates the piece so I highly recommend it's something that you can just use that in with some pumpkins and you've got a great little tablescape or something or table decor. You know, find things that are inexpensive but make a huge impact. Well guys, that is gonna do it. I'm so excited with, and I just think this tree turned out so cute and the hanging ghost, I just absolutely love it. I'm gonna sneak at the very end shot um, a picture at night completely. Uh, it's still light out, but it's I turned off all the big lights and everything, but oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for everybody to see it. And I just think it's the right amount of Fun, spooky, but you know, not too scary because we're not about that over here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some good ideas, maybe some inspiration or motivation to get out there and, and decorate however much or small, big or small you want to do. Just enjoy, take care of your home and just enjoy it and have fun with every season. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment tell me anything how you're decorating this um halloween season the next video will be an actual um uh home tour of my halloween um and i will show you how i incorporate just my fall decor i don't take it down completely but i incorporate just in some areas uh the halloween so that's going to be the next video after this so thanks so much and i'll see you in the next one bye